Hello. So I got a lot of questions on the songs for the Savannah EP and what they mean. So I wanted to take some time out and explain them to you. I wrote Carry You for my brother and um, it's about how far you go for somebody that you love, you know what I mean? So um, my brother is my whole heart. So I really wanted to kind of communicate, like translate the vulnerability of you know whatever he needs I'll be there whatever time like you know what I'm saying like show me where you bleed I'll walk all the way to the city if that's what you need and those are the opening lines and I felt like that was very significant to just how I feel you know and what I would do because if you were if you were to commit if he were to like tell me something that was wrong with him then I'd try my best to help him solve it you know and I feel like a lot of people can relate to that um, there's a lot of people love and have people that they really want to just be there for and take care of and um, just help in any way possible. So that's what Carrie is about. Um, for the bridge, which is one of my favorite parts of the song, um, I wanted it. Uh, what I what I what I explained to Window, the executive producer, well, one of the executive producers on the album, was that. Um, I wanted it to sound like it was being sung in on our own. So you hear my voice singing, carry you, carry you. And then um, suddenly you have carry you being repeated, like, you know, not on the forefront. So there's the carry on the forefront, and then there's other smaller carry you's in like the background, and then um, other ad libs happening. So it sounds so. I wanted that to be the climax of the song, which bridges usually are. Um, but I wanted it to be kind of like just like so overwhelming because you're saying so many carry yous <laughs> all at once, I guess. I don't know. Um, to kind of like build it up. So by that time, you'd, you'd really understand that that's the point. I want to carry this person, you know? Um, well, yeah, that's what carry is about. Bit Too Shy is about um, love. And it's actually not based off of a true story, even though it is relatable in that way. I kind of just made up the idea um, because when when Burger had to listen to the rhythm, he told me that he was inspired by Burger Isaac's "Be Too Shy." So I just thought, what if you had a situation where the dude was shy, and the girl was not so shy, and she was like approaching him and like telling him, basically lyricsing him. So it's it's the inverse of the what usually happens. Um, so yeah, that's what the show is about. I really wanted to kind of. I mean, obviously it's, it 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 happens and it's it's real for some people. Um, but I really wanted to capture that the dude's shy and she's kind of checking him. You know, um, one of my favorite things about it is I guess the um, the melody. <laughs> I really like the melody because the, that beat was so easy to write to for me. So. I kind of just really played with uh, just exploring my range and that. So, you know, I think I could be a lover, you know? And that's the wrong key, but you get the idea. Love the way! <laughs> Love the way is about having a good time, and that's something that I am an advocate for. Like you need those days and those parts with your friends where it's just completely let loose. You, you just completely let loose, and that's what that's about. That's about. Um, it's very real. I go out. I wear whatever I'm comfortable wearing. I drink some white rum. I dance. It's just about having a good time, not trying to talk to me during the party because that's something I don't really like. If you listen closely. Um, there's a line there that says, um, no talking, let the music take you over kind of vibe. So that's kind of, kind of saying in the, in a very diplomatic way that, look, don't try to talk to me when I'm in the dance dancing, because it's not time for that. Just try to let go. Um, but yeah, so that's what, that's what Love the Ways are both. Just letting go, having a good time, taking a drink of what you feel like, and just letting I wrote Easy to Breathe to communicate the disconnect um, between the 
people, a person that might be suffering depression and a person who is kind of witnessing the depression happening to somebody else and them not really understanding that it's not so easy as smiling in it a way that doesn't work, you know? Um, I actually feel like that's very dismissive, so it, with the words, um, the lines, don't tell me to smile if you're not going to stay here with me, it's kind of saying that, look, like, you telling me to smile doesn't work. Um, and unless you're going to stay here with me, is it is that, unless you're experiencing it, you know, then you don't really have, there's nothing really valid that you can say to me. Um, it's kind of, it kind of forces people to be a little bit more empathetic where that's concerned because it's not something that's easy and it's not something that's attention seeking and it's not something that, you know, we make up. It's, it's, it's very real and it's very, very personal and you're very vulnerable when you're in that, in that place. So I kind of just wanted to say that and have people dig a little bit deeper in terms of what you say to the person that's going through that difficult thing. Raw is the fifth track on the EP and a lot of people are stumped by the name and trying to figure out like what, what is that in relation to and it's actually um, my friend's name, um, that's how his family spelled his name and I wrote that song in dedication of him in honor of his memory just because I wanted to recall like the better times that we had together you know because I really did grow up with him me and my brother and him you know were very very close and that song just talks about you know the times when we used to skate down the street late at night um being the being the big old playing field beside our house and stuff um climbing people's trees climbing over people's fences to go <laughs> take mangoes off the trees so it's really just yeah remembering remembering him in like a happy way um uh if you if you pay attention to in the bridge it kind of it gets a little bit sad where it says oh but now you're you're waving goodbye to me like in the in the in the, in the ending part of the song so that's where you kind of hear that you know he's no longer no longer with me or no longer with us and also in the bridge you can't believe that you're gone can't imagine that you're gone so yeah that's what Rahal is about so chant it now, right? I wrote chant it when I was about 19 actually. So it's 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 out an old, old song and very very fairy tale like in the way that I wrote it at that time. Um yeah, and it's just about being in love and I actually was in love you know at that time, I believe. And yeah, I wanted to kinda of, it's it's just it's just expressing how I felt, you know, I kinda of wanted to tell everybody I felt so good and too and you know it's kind of giddy in love so I wanted to capture that with that song. Run with a love friend. You're four leaf over like such love that I found you know. It's a, it's a love, love song, right? 